Hey everyone, it's Sarah Soldatankov with Digital Control Incorporated, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps required before you can start drilling. Let's get started. The first step is to optimize and measure active interference. With the transmitter off, select Transmitter Selection from the main menu, then Frequency Optimization. The frequency optimization will show active interference readings for nine optimized bands. Run the frequency optimization for each new project because it selects an optimal set of frequencies for each band every time. With the frequency optimization results displayed, walk the receiver along the bore path while observing the noise readings and mark those points where significant changes occur. Your receiver can only detect active interference, not passive interference. Lower frequency bands tend to perform well despite passive interference. High bands have slightly less signal strength, but tend to offer better performance around active interference such as power lines. Step 2. Select frequency bands. Toggle to and select the band of your choice. Then use the up slash down icons to assign this first band as up or down. Optionally, set the second band as the opposite. Step 3. Pair the receiver with the transmitter. Install the transmitter batteries and the end cap. The increase in frequency optimization noise readings shows that the transmitter is on. Select the check mark to pair. Position the transmitter's infrared port within two inches of the receiver's infrared port. Select paired to open the infrared pairing menu. Then again to pair the receiver frequency band to the transmitter. Step four, check for background noise. Exit to the locate screen. Carry the transmitter off to the side and parallel with the receiver at approximately your target depth distance away. Wherever the data or signal strength becomes unstable or disappears, try the other band or consider re-optimizing a band in that area. The next two steps are to calibrate both bands and check above ground range. We will be covering this in the next video, so please stay tuned for that. That will be coming soon. Thank you so much for listening. We hope that this helped you.